Um, so my name is Amy. My, my English is not so good, but um, I'm going to explain. Um, this was um, 26th of May, now just like 10 days ago, a week ago. Uh, I made this performance all by myself. And I was collaborating with violinist when he's playing now. He's from Berlin Philharmonie and he composed this music for me, but I mean, I think he was very inspired by like Japan and Asia. So he made this music. And then uh, this is my shadow, I, I'm behind. And then this picture I took in Tokyo somewhere in April. So I was doing this in behind with this music. And this was like world premiere performance in Osaka, so that's he. And I also did this performance in Berlin, in Germany too, in Berlin Philharmonie, like officially. <coughs> and this is like winter, but I, my imagination was like bird, Japanese birds, in snow. That was my image. So the costume I also created, I designed and I made. Mm -hmm. So this is kind of like I was doing bird, but also like bird. Um, I'm dancing with ballet shoes, which is not point shoes. Point shoes is like one that I stand on point. Mm -hmm. This is the second act already. Like first act was like I was trying to do like visually, like using projectors, photos, and dance. And this is like the section that like jazz and tango with high heel. And I'm classic ballet dancer, but like now I'm trying to do everything because like time is like now I have to do everything. Also, company, I was dancing in Germany. I had to do everything, like contemporary, classic, and, uh, and my mom is pianist, so she's playing. So I agree, yeah. I was born with like music family. My, my father is clarinetist, my mother is pianist. And if I had a sponsor and I had the budget, I wanted to use like big mirror and also hanging on top, and but I couldn't manage, <laughs> so that's what I could do. Because I did all by myself for this. Yeah, I had a limited budget and the possibility, and also technology. Um, and this is my father. <laughs> this performance was kind of like, thank you for my parents too. Because I left Japan 23 years ago. And I'm living already 23 years by myself. I'm by myself, like without parents. And I, I don't see them so often, so, so I invited them also to pray with me. This is me also, Miss Week. It's a little bit joke. <laughs> it's a bit joke. <laughs> This is Bach, like one of the most famous 
composer, classic. And I was trying to make something out of Bach. It's very difficult. I did also collaboration with the cellist, David Geringas, also like very famous. But Bach is very, very challenging. I couldn't find, this is not the final, because every day I hear music and I try something and some new idea comes up. And this is not final, but 26, I had to do something, so I did this. <laughs> but I had more ideas, which I couldn't do. I wanted dance in top of air, make this like slopes, like hanging or something, but I didn't have possibility. So I was just dancing this. Mm -hmm. And this, like this, uh, this is music from Thais, meditation. This was, I was trying to do like, um, This was kind of like, I lost hope for dancing and for life and for everything in the beginning. And I found the ponchos, which there was like my dream. And like, and then I remember that time. I tried to dance. was my cause, but I don't know if people understood or not, but... So this performance, I made a three part. Like first one is like visual, like Japanese, little Asian. And second part was jazz, tap, tango. And third, this is the classic part. And then like last one, I danced the song from Sun Sounds, which my roots. <laughs> Tell my uh, this is the swan, but in ballet world it calls uh, dying swan, swans dying. Mm -hmm. One of the very famous solo for female, uh, which um, I studied in Moscow, in ballet, in Bolshoi Ballet. It was like 91 when I first went to there. And that time was like still like a Soviet Union between, you know, the changing time, Perestroika. I saw everything, like bombing, car going, White House and all this. There was no food and shooting all over and drunk people laying down in the street. And I was 13 first I went to there. And then when I was 15, I, yeah, that was <laughs> last school. Um, I left Japan alone. And that time, of course, I was just talking with them. Google was uh, 19 years, like, you know, it's, um, yeah. So it was like 93 when I first left. Of course, no internet, no cell phone. I only had the possibility to write a letter 
but it was too cold in the dormitory, so there's no heating, no food, and I was thinking, but it must be like this to do something like, you know, that I want to be ballerina, that I have to do this. That was my start. So I was writing every week later, sending my mother, and I get, two months later, I get letter from my mom. But like every week I get, like two months ago, some story. When um, Gorbachev, if you remember Gorbachev, went out and then Edison came, uh, I couldn't go out from dormitory. I was two months almost kidnapped. So I couldn't write a letter. And my mother was thinking maybe I can't see my daughter again because it was not, you know. Uh, anyway, that was my start <laughs> doing ballet, um, just ballet. It was very strict. And um, after graduated Bolshoi, I went to, no, actually I was dancing in Moscow still, but I thought it's too difficult because I got only $80 a month for salary. It's like nothing, but that time the real estate business starting in Russia, so I had to pay like $200 a month to rent a room because everybody had uh, like free apartments and stuff like that, but I didn't, so I was one of that I had to pay. So I was thinking I get like $80 and I pay $200 for apartment. I can't continue because I, didn't wanna, um, I didn't want to get uh, help for, from my parents, so I didn't want. Um, so, so I was thinking to do audition tour, kind of. But first I wanted to competition, international competition in Paris, and I went to Paris alone. And then just, I opened my eyes. I was like, wow, it's beautiful, the food. It's delicious. What is it? So beautiful, like everything. So I was thinking, maybe I had to. Leave. I have to leave Russia. It's too much for me. I was like, I was thinking, like, I have to do, but maybe there's other world that I can, you know. So I started tour, my audition tour, but. That time, um, I, you know, now it's very easy. I search company and there's so many information. Application, you send, a, you know, second photo, resume, finish. So, but I had to search by like magazine, telephone number, calling, no answer. Sending photos takes one week, get or not, you don't know. So that was that time. So, but anyway, I had to go. So I bought one way ticket. To Berlin. Why Berlin? I don't know. It was the cheapest I could buy. So I went to Berlin studying. I went to company that I, I danced 10 years later, but my last. Like, so a director was not there. So I couldn't audition. That was my first audition experience. I was like, wow. Okay. So I searched. There's the next day, München audition. So I decided to go. I bought a ticket, train. So I went to Munchen. That was school audition. Ten years old kids auditioning. <laughs> so that was my second audition. I was like, that's very difficult to get a job. Anyway, it's difficult, still is, but I had a dream that I want to be ballerina. Then I want to do by myself everything. You know? So I went to like Essen and this and saving money, so I was taking a like, night train, going to Holland, Switzerland, I don't know, ended up in London, England. I went to like Dover, over in the ferry. So I came back three weeks later. So my company, I was dancing in Moscow, I said like three days, I, I would not come three days, you know, I get. So three weeks later I came, and that was okay, Moscow. The company, I'm very thankful. It was, of course, I mean, I was not mm -hmm. um, fired. Um, but anyway, next year I went to Germany. That tour, I got like two contract, this auditioning tour. So I went to Germany, but that was what I. That was not what I wanted to. It was too contemporary. Now I do everything like this, but I was 
studying Russian. It was pure classic, only classic. And I was thinking ballet is just point shoes, swan leg, and that's it. In Germany, it's very advanced. Like you have to dance in barefoot or naked or with project. I was like, wow. And I couldn't enjoy it. I it, it was too new for me. And that was kind of also homesick because Germany, to people, work, finish, go home, and that's it. And like Russian, of course, it's money, no money, whatever, but like people are like always together. So helping each other at that time, especially, it was very warm. I didn't have money or like nothing, but I was very happy always, and I was very warm. So I think that was the art power. And in Germany, of course, I got monthly pay, but I was thinking why I'm doing this, because I was not happy, and after work I go home alone and doing nothing. <laughs> So I start think maybe I have to find the next step. This is not my place in Germany. So I went to do competition in America because I learned it's faster to go competition and meet everybody than like going one place and next place. So I went to competition not um, thinking, getting something, but like meet people, get in contact, and maybe get a new idea or possibility. So um, that competition, like one director saw me and gave me contract. I didn't get any prize. I was finalist, but I got like offer from America. So I was thinking two days, calling my mom, what do you think? Should I try or not? And my mom and my father, I don't know about ballet, then you know better. So you decide, that was my parents. So one day I think, um, if I don't try this moment to go, maybe I never will have a chance to, because you know, if I go to audition in America and try to get and not what, well, yes. So I was thinking, okay, I will try. So I went to back to Germany, got everything, sent the suitcase, and in two months, I was in America, Indianapolis, studying. So I danced one in Indianapolis. And next year, my big dream was like dance Swan Lake, Hulang. Like Odette and Odile, there's two uh, swans, white and black. That was one of my dream. So, but the Indianapolis ballet company was only 25 dancers. It was not possible. So I went to audition and got contract in Cleveland, San Jose Ballet, which um, I could dance one leg. I invited my parents for thank you. And that was a very touching moment for me. So but uh, company bankrupt next year. <laughs> um, and the American ballet company was Almost um, the budget was by sponsors, like air company, and something didn't go well, and that's it. It's very dangerous. Germany is government supporting, government support. But then um, bankrupt, so I had to find a new job. So I went to San Jose, California one year, and after Boston for two years. And then when I was Boston, uh, this September 11, things happened. So 11 people got fired, like a week later also. It was very, very dangerous moment for everybody, which dangerous is uh, no activity. The people didn't go out and just stayed at home. Like our business, like showing business, if there's no audience, show doesn't go. So um, I was thinking this is also what, because people talk about money only, and I'm not dancing for money only. You know? And I was thinking maybe I have to leave America. And I was thinking, you know, my first audition I couldn't do was in Berlin. Maybe I have to go back to Berlin. 
because that time, Vladimir Malakov, of course you don't know, but um, that was like worldwide star dancer, very famous. He was going to take over Berlin Ballet as one big company. Berlin was, um, Berlin had three companies, um, Staatsoper, Deutsche Oper, and Komisch Oper, because wall, no? it's the West Berlin and the East Berlin were separated. They had like three companies, but uh, trying to do like one big company at that moment. It was in 20, two, uh, no, 2004. And did very big audition worldwide. So I went to there because I thought maybe I have to do this audition and finish my career. Because yeah. I couldn't do when I was 19 and I was 25. But then uh, he gave me a contract in Berlin, so I think it was 2004, and I was starting dancing 10 years with the Berlin Staatsvalle, which is very stable, because every month I get paid, no matter what, I'm sick or injured, and it was very, very nice time. I liked my after work time. I went to, that. Uh, that's why I do now collaborations. I went to Philharmony Opera and lo uh, met lots of interesting artists, painter or uh, architect person, like um, how to say, uh, technicians, but like project project making like technique. So I was collaborating also very interesting technical pupil. Did performance in swimming pool or like stations or church. Um, and very important things is like art as artist, there's no limit or no end because I have like new ideas every day. And I want to try this till end of my career. <laughs> I think for classic ballet dance, I think this is like kind of end. Like maybe like 40 some years, you can still dance, but it's very difficult. But if you collaborate with someone or music, I think I can continue more. But I also doing uh, lots of things for young talent, organizing workshops. Uh, in Berlin, Europe, and now next month I'm going to America, Boston, and New York, taking 28 students. And August Bolshoi Ballet, where I studied. So this is my um, kind of roots. As a ballerina, we start like 10 a.m. because we have performance. We had a performance, like 10, perform uh, no, 10 performance a month, maybe, and hundreds of performance a year in Berlin. But in Russia, we had more, maybe 200 performances, every day difference, yeah. Swan Lake, Nuts Cracker, Sleeping Beauty, every day difference. In morning, we start with like one and a half hour training, just like taking bar, doing same things, movements, like, bending, stretching, and doing this. And one, after one and a half hour, we do maybe like six hours of rehearsal. In Germany, it's very strict. We have like seven hours working time. And if you go over, it's, they have to pay like overtime. So <laughs> it's very like seven hours, but dancing. Our job is dancing, so seven hours dancing. Or like doing like four, four hours rehearsals, little break, and then performance, and next day the same. Uh -huh. It's very um, hard, but if you get used to it, it's normal <laughs> dancing. Mm -hmm. um, what I have to talk about? <laughs> mm -hmm. Everybody asks about what I'm eating, <laughs> mostly. But I think as dancer, we Maybe men's eat lunch, lunch, but we continue because we have only like half hour break and we can't eat so much because we eat a lot. We can't dance again because stomach ache, whatever. So we kind of like have breakfast 
and like, coffee or coke, caffeine and sugar. <laughs> Keep going till like five or six. And if we have a performance, we eat something a little to get energy. And then we eat after performance a lot. And very unhealthy <laughs> to say like 10 or 11 is like our dinner time. And this is like our like mm, food schedule, so to say. Mm -hmm. Um, another thing is point juice for ballerina. It's very painful in the beginning, but when you got used to it, you don't feel pain. <laughs> it's painful, but it's normal. <laughs> and then I have like very big bunions, which like I can't really uh, wear high heels anymore. Um, but you have to do with point shoes. It's like our, and men, it's always behind supporting women. You have to do like the <laughs> gym because you carry women like with like 50 kilo, 55. I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very unusual profession, but on stage to make one stage two hours, we practice maybe like two months, and you have to do every day the same things one and half hour. Every day the things like hanging and this and stretch and then studying rehearsal. Re rehearsal is like easiest, not easy, the performance is easiest part. Yeah. And you smile and dance and you go back and you die. <laughs> so, yeah. This is our job. But I'm thinking this is maybe like last minutes of doing kind of live performance. Also like very in Philharmony, if you go Philharmony and hear live, you get like goosebumps. But now they're doing like um, internet business, which I think, I think it's good and bad. Because you don't get like same effect or like same impression, same feeling from live. Live is live. But I'm thinking also like now, too many like visual possibility that like you get like YouTube, you can watch every, everything, night, morning, and afternoon. And this is very good, but I'm thinking, thinking like this, our like real business, like live performance, maybe in 50 years dis disappears. <laughs> well, not possible, I want to uh, continue, of course, to try to make new things. Okay, so with that, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs>